What's up guys, how's it going? I know I haven't done a video in a long time. Um, had some health issues coming up and that takes first priority. Um, still working through some health issues, but collecting parts and doing little bits of work here and there. Um, I did get the uh, driver's side wheel bearing put on. Had that done a couple weeks ago. Hub, hub assembly ABS sensor wheel bearing, you know, behind there. I had that done because it was sounding like an airplane when you're going about 60, 70 miles an hour. Um, picked up these rear trailing arms from Ford. Um, they were not red, I painted them red. <laughs> Took quite a bit to do that too. Uh, primer, get your red paint and clear coat. And uh, I can show you where those go. They go right here, they bolt to this thing and they go all the way behind the tire. So you can kind of see, um, they have a certain shape to them too. But, so you would think to yourself that these bars right here were probably only like 20 bucks or 30 bucks, no. $100 for a pair of those. Um, and I'm sure they'll be discontinued soon being how old the truck is. So I didn't want to, but I had to pick them up uh, while I still can, you know, because they slowly are discontinuing parts for this truck based on its age. So um, pick up what you can, where you can, for however long you can. Um, down here too is going to show you. Getting ready to do an oil change here. Um, got some Lucas, a couple quarts, and three quarts of Max Life, so it'll be five quarts total and I got our got the FL820S um, so we're gonna do an oil change on it here pretty soon um, the reason why I'm doing the Lucas is I just wanted to thicken it up a bit because the um, you know it's got a bit of valve train noise it's got full aluminum roller rockers in it and they get a little bit noisy when you're driving so I want to thicken it up I got 10W40 oil in it right now um, but we're gonna throw some Lucas in and see if we can thicken it up a bit. Um, also, I'm gonna throw in uh, some new headlights here, 9007s. Um, believe it or not, the uh, headlights that are in here are actually factory headlights from the, from 1997. It's a 98 model, so some of the parts are from 1997. And uh, kind of a weird setup here, but you have to lift this flap and you <laughs> go down on there and pull the bulb out and uh, make sure you close the flap. Um, let's see here. But I just wanted to quiet it down a bit. Um, with that Lucas oil stabilizer. It's just, uh, I got a few different mechanics opinions on it and they say that with the roller rockers it's gonna be noisier than uh, factory. So I should have found that out before I got the roller rockers put on because it definitely is uh, a bit noisier than factory. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this power plant or not. You know, I got a friend that can do LS swaps. And he's pretty good at it, so... Thinking... It's a possibility, but I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. Um, they're just... There's such uh, clearance issues... Down here with doing a um, LS swap. I mean, you can see... Look how close the steering shaft is to the factory manifold I mean it's it's really close and uh, over here I mean the clearance is really close there too you got your AC components I mean it's, it's tight getting this engine in here as it is so um, if we end up doing an exhaust manifold well I mean if we end up doing headers on here at some point uh, there's gonna there's definitely gonna be clearance issues so I'm just kind of stuck, you know, if the engine, the guy that rebuilt it wasn't, uh, wasn't that great. So I may get another chance and do another go around with another mechanic. Um, to get a better rebuild done this time. 
or I might just do an LS swap. I don't know. I'm not sure really where to go with it. Um, I still am thinking about collecting body parts for it yet. Uh, you know, I got the rear hatch here and got a bumper back there in the corner. And uh, show you the rear door, how bad the rear door is. It, ne it really needs a rear door too. But, and you can see how bad the Michigan rust is on that. So, I think really the only option you know, if we're going to be replacing body panels, it's going to be a full repaint on the whole truck. Uh, because you sit there and try to panel paint and match paint that's 20 years old, I don't think it's going to turn out good, no matter how hard you try or how good you are. So, I th <laughs> I'm thinking it's going to be a full body restoration because it needs rocker panels too. Um, you know, and it, it, just be it just becomes a love of a personal project, I guess, because the book value doesn't add up when you come to restoration cost on this truck. So just a labor of love, I guess, and if you can afford it or not. So, but yeah, just doing a little maintenance items here and there, and uh, figured I'd check in with you guys because it's been a while. So, take care.